the evidence to date on the current crops that are grown in the United States is that those are safe to eat. I think there is a strong international consensus about that. Um, and so, you know, at CSPI, we're comfortable in telling people that if you're going to be eating food made from those crops that are currently out there, there is not a, not a, a food safety risk associated with those crops. Uh, that's different than the regulatory system, and I think maybe that's at the core of some of this. And I think that the, whether we're talking about the USDA, the Department of Agriculture, or the Food and Drug Administration, or the Environmental Protection Agency, clearly the U.S. regulatory system and oversight of these crops has not been ideal. And so at the center, we've been working for a number of years to try to improve that regulatory system, to give the agencies the authority to make sure before these crops get out there that they are safe to eat and they are safe for the environment. So while we can say they're safe, current ones, for the future ones, we would like the agencies to take a little closer look at them. Well, let's get a response from Winona Howder. Uh, your thoughts on this issue, uh, of the argument here being that uh, the science so far shows that it's safe, but regulation needs to improve. Well, first of all, I would disagree that there's any international uh, agreement that genetically engineered crops are safe, and, in fact, they're banned in some countries. And there's a lot of concern in places like Europe, where we have the precautionary principle uh, about genetically engineered foods. And there actually is a body of research that shows that genetically engineered soy and corn uh, have uh, health effects. Uh, these uh, studies are feeding studies on animals, which is how this research is generally done. They show liver and kidney impairment. Uh, there are a number of studies showing this. Uh, rat pups whose mothers ate uh, genetically engineered soy had high mortality rates. And um, the genetically engineered hormone that's used to—it's uh, actually injected into cows so that they produce more milk. Uh, Italian research has found that those trans genes actually survive—they uh, survive pasteurization, and they end up in the milk. So, part of the problem is, also, that there isn't enough research. We have a very lax regulatory system. The technology licensing agreements that Monsanto and other companies have for the biotech um, products that they develop mean that researchers can't legally get a hold of these seeds or grow the crops uh, to actually do testing. And there's also not money for the kind of long-term health impact studies that there should be when you're doing um, such a major change in our food system.